Customizing your documents is a really important and popular feature within Bookable, and this video will teach you how. Firstly, go into your settings and click the documents panel here, and you will bring up all the customization options for your invoices, your contracts, and your quotes. So for new customers that don't already know, invoices, contracts, and quotes are PDF, printable, and downloadable documents that are auto-generated on every single order. They appear on your order screen, you just click a button to generate them. They fill out automatically with all of the order's information and your customers can even add their signature on in person to the quote and contract. And you can send them via email to the customer with a preloaded email template and attach it in a second. So let's get to customizing them. Let's start with the global settings. So you can choose to show times or to not show times on the documents. I've decided to show time so you can see the pickup and return times as well as the dates for these for all of these documents orders. Then you can choose the page size. You can choose between A4 or in letter, a US style. So that will affect the printer settings here and the layout here. Next, you can choose the document numbering. So if you want the documents to be simply incremented one at a time, so number one, number two, number three, so it would be contract one, contract two, contract three, and so forth, then you can choose a global level, which is the most popular way to prefix in Bookable. But you can also choose a prefix level, so you can start the document sequence for each prefix. So that means it would be by the customer number, customer number, invoice one, customer number, invoice two and up from there. I'm going to stick with global level and get to customizing my invoices. So the customization uh, settings are the same for the invoices, the contracts and the quotes. However, one change is the contracts and the quotes both receive the ability to input text into the body of the document. For invoices, you can only input text into the footer. So let's edit the contract which is essentially your waiver form and the most used document within Bookable. So thanks to Bookable you can use our all-in-one system to send your documents. You don't need to use a third-party system for that and you can start by choosing the prefix format. So you can choose to have the customer number first and then the order number or the for example year, customer number year and month or the customer number and the year. Let's stick with customer number and order number there and save that. Now you can choose the product lines. So you can choose to show individual stock items on the contract invoice and quote. I've decided to keep that off. We only just have the product name and a product custom field that I've created in my product itself. You can also choose to show the product images on the contract, which I have done of the image of the item here or my placement image and then I have the ability to hide or show free items on a contract. So for example I need to add free items onto an order so my team, my warehouse team know, I don't need the customer to know that. So that can be something like a delivery slip, it can be an extra box, it can be bubble wrap. I want to have that on the um, on the Teams notifications, I don't want my customers to see that, so I'm going to have that as hidden. And then we can choose to hide the product lines on a contract. So if we enable that and refresh the page, you will see that now that has been removed. So you can only see the subtotal and the terms and agreements that I've added, but I want my customers to see their products. So here you can see it's been added again and I can insert just an, a free reference at the time of the order if I need to. And now we have the contract body. So as I said, the invoice does not have this, only the contract and the quote, and this is really helpful for adding in your terms and agreements. So you can add in your text and use the format settings. So we have some different uh, heading or text options or list options. You can make things bold, italic, you can create a link and you can choose some alignment so I will make this centered for example you can also add a paragraph an image a table and a line so I will add a line between the text and the heading and a line to finish off the text and I'll press save and then you can enter in your transfer details into the footer if you wish I have done that for my invoice here 
I've added my transfer details and I might go ahead and make this an ordered list or rather an unordered list. Press save and you can see that has been updated on the document. So you can play with these settings, add in as much text or as little text as you like. And then let's have a look at what it looks like on the order page. So if we create quickly a new order for our Brooklyn branch, we'll add in the dates of pickup and return and the times. We can add in some available products like a dining set, glass wedding dining table, and maybe a wooden marquee. I don't need to specify the stock items yet because the customer is not receiving the items yet. I can see how many is left and I want to go ahead and enter in a coupon code for a full promotion to take $50 off. And then we can reserve these products and create a new contract, a new quote, or the invoices pro forma. So if you select any of these documents, you can add in a reference. Pertaining to just this order, for example, you can edit the footer if you want to change the email or any of the information for this order alone. And I can finalize this invoice and send that off to the customer with the email template and have that attached there. Or for my contract, for example, I can also print this out, download it, and if the customer is in store with me, I can grab a signature on the contract and the quote. So this is how easy it is to customize your documents within Bookable.